Hello, everyone. Hello, 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 hello. And welcome to a live at night. I love it. I love it. I love it. Listen, blessings to you all. Thank you for joining me here tonight on a live stream during the middle of the week. I see you, Kay Lewis, Queenie, Dioki Super Sad, Ernest Muhammad, Kim Clay, Angie Hunt, Chastity, Clinton Hall. So many of you guys are here and blessings to you all. Listen, this is a beautiful time. We are now getting ready to jump right into it. And I hope you guys find everything satisfying to whatever it is you're trying to do in life. Robinson family, I see you. I see a couple of other people that's here. Now, listen, do not take this as disrespect if I don't mention your name. The people names that I'm mentioning, they are members, everyone. So I hope you're not feeling like I'm leaving you out. I pay reference to your comments, but mentioning names is part of the members package. So yes, I get to their questions first. So basically be patient, but just know that the people that are listed in the green, they are members of this channel. Okay, so hello, hello, hello. I see everybody joining on and they're saying hello. Again, this is live stream at night. I love it, I love it. So today we're gonna be speaking about powerful candles that you can use to basically help you clear the path, get out of difficulties. And listen, this is important because I've been doing this forever. I think I can actually go back to like 38 years doing this, okay? Now, I do want to say, first and foremost, that you always pray to God, always pray to the supreme being, the God that dwells inside of you, because all of this comes from one God, okay? There is only one God. But other than that, I do love my angels, my guardian angels, and all other types of religious figures that can help me get to wherever it, wherever it is that I want to be. Um, Carlton um, Atkins is here. Um, Alexis A is here. Listen, Denise Stewart is here. Uh, listen, blessings to you guys all. Much love. So now, why am I doing this video right here? The reason I'm doing this is because so many people are trying to manifest whatever it is that they want in life. They're saying, Yvette, I want that new car. I want that new home. I want that better career. I want that love of my life. And it just seems like something is holding me back. It just feels like someone's coming at me. Now, listen, I get these calls and messages all the time. Most of the time when I'm doing a coaching session, these are some of the things that come up that something feels like it's stopping them from getting wherever they need to be. Now, I do want to express one thing to you guys, and you guys really need to take this in. Whatever you see in your life, most of the time comes from you, okay? And I will say this, most of the time when you feel like something is holding you back, it's usually you. Now, listen, we all have people around us at one time or another that did not like us or was not for our best interest. And we all been there. A lot of times it's the same people that living in a house with you. You must understand that you create your life and no one can take power over you unless you give them your power. OK, now this is a lot. This is very hard for people to grasp. And again, I've been there myself. But I do want you to understand that you have power over your own life. Now, we're going to talk about things you can do to help clear that path for you to get to wherever it is you want to be in life. OK, so but I do want to tell you, since we are focusing today on candles, please do not leave a burning candle alone. This is not what I teach here. This is not what I do in my house. I will not leave a burning candle in my house if it's not in my presence, okay? I never, ever leave the door, leave out my door knowing that a burning candle is on, okay? It always usually in my, in my eyesight, okay, you guys? So please don't think I'm telling you guys to burn candles all over the place because that's not what I do, okay? So now... Who, are, who am I if you're new to this channel, if you're new here on this live stream? I am Yvette, 
I am a law of attraction manifestation coach. I'm also, I also practice metaphysics. And this is the channel where you get all types of spiritual knowledge, manifestation techniques, everything in one place. Okay. If you see the shop below this in there for every one of my videos, I am putting out products. Okay. Because I do have an online shop. But sometimes people contact me telling me that they cannot get those products on my site. So YouTube has allowed us to be able to post the products. This way I have a global, um, I have a global area where I can pull the products so you can actually tap on it and get the product. Now, again, you can just watch it or you can look at the products while you're watching me here. And it is an affiliate link. Other than that, I will give you this special hint, you guys. What's on my website, if that is what you're looking for and it's on my website, it is cheaper. People don't understand how cheap my products are when you go there. But you, if you want to compare, please compare, okay? <laughs> so now, let's get to this, okay? Don't forget to like, subscribe, tap the bell, you guys. And most of all, just keep watching the videos. Again, if you want to support this channel, join membership. And listen, you guys, every Sunday morning, we are here live for people that want to connect with spiritual-minded people. We are here every Sunday live. So join us here at My World of Metaphysics. Okay, everyone. Kat, I see you. Good evening. Good evening again. So now let's get started. Now, there are certain candles that I burn when I feel like something is not going my way, or I feel like I got a road in front of me, a, a, a mountain in front of me, or a door closed in front of me. Now, we all get that here and there, you guys, in our life path. Remember that we are here to grow, and we are here to experience life. So as we navigate this earth, in this human experience, we are going to come up on obstacles, you guys. Now, God is stating that he did not put us here to be alone, to be left out, to have no one to go to. The first and foremost person that I would go to is God. But God also has placed angels here, guardian angels, spiritual guides for us to, for us to have some type of support. So as I was younger, you guys, I was always into the mystics. I was always into the unknown. So there was a couple of candles that always resonated with me, and I am sharing them with you today. So please take out your pen and paper because I am showing you some of my secrets, you guys. Now, the first candle that I can tell you about that I would say what is my go-to Okay, there's two candles that was my go, go, go to. And one of them is High John. Okay, and this right here is High John. High John the Conqueror. It means exactly what it is saying, you guys. I conquer anything. You got a roadblock. Something's happening at your job. Um, maybe you feel like you're stuck in a certain situation or you feel like things are not moving along for you. High John. Hi, John the Conqueror is not just for money, it's for love, health, um, career, whatever it is you're facing in life. Hi, John the Conqueror is there to open the roads, to knock down any barriers, to help you climb over that mountain or open that window. It is just that simple. And we're going to explain a little bit on how to work with these candles, okay, you guys? Again, blessings to you guys all for being here on this night. Now, my next go-to candle, you guys, when I am up against something, and I don't have the seven-day candle, but I do have a three, uh, uh, what is it? I would say a three-day candle. And that is the road opener, you guys the road opener. Now you, I don't have this particular one on my site, but I do have a link in the shop where you can buy this. Okay. This is the road opener. Now, listen, it's the road opener or, or Elegua. Elegua is spelled E-L-E-G-U-A or E-L-E-G-G-U-A. The road opener is self-explanatory, you guys. 
and it is the road opener. And this is the legwa. Ilegua is the road opener. And this is African American. I mean, African Caribbean. Okay. And the road opener's job is to see the path through for those that are following. Okay. So as I was growing up, when I had problems in school, I had problems like going to college or anything that I had a problem with. Remember you guys, I told you before, whatever it is that I wanted, that I said I was going to do, I did it. And some of the things that I did was prayer work. Okay. And hi, when it came down to a candle, hi, John and road opener, again, opening up that path for you to get to whatever it is you're trying to do, whether it's career, money, love, whatever. It was that path that got me through. And this is powerful, you guys. So please write this down because I've been doing this since 1988, 1989, somewhere around there. And it could have been a little earlier, you guys, but the road opener and high John were my go-to candles. Now I'm about to give you guys another one of my secrets back then that I stuck with. There was a couple of candles that I used to pray in front of. And one is the 23rd Psalm, you guys. The 23rd Psalm. This is biblical, you guys. The 23rd Psalm is the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. This is the ultimate protection candle, you guys. The Lord's Prayer. When you feel in doubt, when you feel like something's going against you, you can actually say the 23rd Psalm. So this is the 23rd Psalm candle. Okay, you guys? And this is powerful. This and these other two candles are some of the candles that I burnt back in those days to keep myself motivated, inspired to do the things that I did in life. The 23rd Psalm is basically saying, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He restoreth my soul. He lead me in the path of the righteousness. Okay. So basically it's like, stay calm, stay cool and let God handle whatever it is you're coming up against. This is powerful words. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me beside the still path of the righteousness for his namesake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I would fear no evil, for thou art with me. This is the ultimate saying. When you feel like something is against you, and again, you can read it if you want to in the Bible. Whatever it is you want to do, you guys, I'm just giving you the secrets of how to push through barriers, how to make sure your path is open when you feel like the doors are closed. If you're understanding what I'm saying, you guys, give me that thumbs up, you guys, because this stuff right here is powerful. And I'm going to explain to you how to use the candles. And if you don't want to use the candles, what to do, okay? Just remember the words, hi, John, road opener, Ilegua. There's other ways of doing this besides burning a candle. Okay, you guys, because these things, I have candles, but they come in um, roots, which I told you before. This is a high John root. Okay, it's a high John root. I set the intent of what it is that I want and I carry it in my wallet, you guys. Okay, this it, it is what it is. Okay. Maybe you want to carry it in your, in your, in your charm, whatever it is you want to do, you can do it. Okay. But I just want to express to you guys that you don't have to burn a candle. You can say the 23rd Psalm five times a day and just say it and just say, God, I know you're with me. You told me to be still and, 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 and you have this. Okay. So there's so many things you can do when you feel like your path is closed, but today we're focusing on the candles. But as a tip, I'm giving you some other things. So now we spoke about the Elegua, the road opener, Hi John, the conqueror. We spoke about the 23rd Psalm. Now, what is the other candle that I focused on most of my life? And this is something I never really explained to you guys before, but this was one of my other go-to candles. Again, biblical, you guys. And this is St. Clara. Okay, St. Clara speaks all for itself. 
St. Clara, clear seeing, clear understanding, okay? Clear seeing, St. Clara, okay? This right here was a powerful candle that I used growing up from 18, 19, 20, going to school. When I was going to school, I needed clarity. I needed to understand. I needed to understand situations that I could have encountered. Whatever it is, St. Clair was my clarity. She was, the, she was the veil that was lifted up so that I can see clearly what was going on. So when I'm saying the candles that I use, St. Clair, High John, um, road opener, 23rd Psalm. And there's one more candle that I did use at that time. And I would say it was the Lord's Prayer. Aha, uh -huh, you guys, I'm giving you all my hints. Now, that candle I burnt, I do have High John burning behind me. And I did have the Lord's Prayer, but I burnt it. <laughs> okay. So these are my seven day candles. Now, if you've seen some of my other videos, you, you would know that I said in the past, that I don't burn too many seven-day candles anymore. I stick with the smaller ones that burn really quick. So the candles that you might see me burning now, maybe a three-day candle or, or, or a candle that burns for 10 hours. Again, this is a road opener, you guys, because these candles come in many forms, many ways, you guys. So you don't have to get a seven-day candle, okay? And I'm going to explain this also. Now, another thing when you feel like you are your back is up against the wall, you feel like you need to be protected, you feel like something's over you, you feel like um, somebody's stop trying to stop you or send negativity towards your way. And that would be dragon's blood, you guys. Okay. And I talk to people about this on when they do coaching with me. Dragon blood is a very strong protector. And this candle is used for protection, you guys. It is used to combat, to take care of anything coming at you. And again, that is dragon's blood, okay? So basically, I'm giving you some hints on what it is that you can use. Now, for those people that don't want to do a three-day candle, a seven-day candle, and they're like, no, we bad. That's too long for me. And I understand because I basically really don't do this all the time anymore. But that's where I've been showing you all this time the Lelokin's Awens, okay? And here we have here the protection candle, okay? And I'm going to give you guys a hint on how I would handle this, okay? This is a protection candle, and this is a clearing candle, you guys, okay? And again, you can basically get a lot of this stuff on my site in the description, and it's cheaper, you guys, but... For those of you that cannot find what you're looking for on my site, I do have these candles all listed um, in the shop below, okay? All different types because someone called me and they told me that it was sold out. So I put multiples so that you can look around and see if you can find what you're looking for. Now, besides protection and clearing, I have here wealth and success. So how I would do this is if you're trying to get something to open up your way, to clear your path, you might want to burn one of these, a protection candle or clearing candle, okay? And then you might want to follow it up with whatever it is that you want. So let's just say you want, um, or you want wealth. So you would do a clearing candle to clear your path or, or a road opener or a high john or maybe a St. Clair or 23rd Psalm or Lord's Prayer Psalm, and then you follow it up with what it is that you desire, okay? If you guys are understanding what I'm saying, give me that thumbs up, you guys, because um, I need you guys to really understand this, okay? That's the reason I'm doing the video, okay? So now, how would I use the candles when I go to light it? For me, I would write my name, inside the candle. I would then hold the candle in my hand and set the intent. I might roll the candle around me. If it's protection and you feel like something in your home and like people in your home, when they're not home, I probably would walk around my house with the candle, saying a prayer to open the road, asking um, Hi John, asking God to open the road, to clear the path, 
to basically remove any negativity out my house. And as I walk around, I would even circulate it around myself because again, most of the time when something's going on, you're the cause, okay? So you might want to get rid of that negativity, okay? And then after you write your name in it, you might want to anoint the candle with a certain oil, maybe holy oil, maybe clearing oil, protection oil, road opener oil, high john oil. All of these things, you could put a drop, just a drop, because too much oil will burn out the wick, you guys, okay? So maybe a drop. And then you roll it around so that it moves around the whole candle. And then you light it. Now, when you light it, you don't just light it and say, okay, I don't let it event. You might want to sit there and do scripting, do prayer work, ask God to bless you, ask God to remove the barriers from you, ask God and I, John the Conqueror or Elegua to open the road for you, whatever it is you're trying to do. And be serious about what you're trying to do. And then try to visualize yourself having, being, doing whatever it is that you want to do and let it go. Okay. This is the thing. You need to stay calm and let it go. That's the problem a lot of people are having. They don't want to let things go. So now here you have Hi John the Conqueror. Okay. I showed you um, Le Locan's A Wins. Now these burn down within like three hours. And if you don't want to do three hours, and if you don't have the money to do that, then you use regular candles, you guys. This is the same thing. Whatever it is, you circulate those candles around your body and you ask to remove the negativity. You ask to remove the barriers. Now, what colors would I use? Red, you guys. Red, because red is also a color of protection. Red is also a color of passion. Okay, so I might would use for protection or for clearing my path. I might use a red candle. I definitely would use a black candle, you guys. And or if you don't have any of these colors, I would use a white candle, which is universal. When you want peace and you want happiness, blue candle, you guys. And if you're talking about success, orange, okay. So I'm giving you guys a whole lot of information here. And believe me, you guys, you guys are not going to get this information anywhere else. People just give you pieces and bits and pieces, not like this, okay? So the only thing I'm asking for you guys to do is to like, subscribe, tap that bell, okay, you guys? <laughs> and that's it. So now, for these candles, for me, I always anoint my candles, okay? And you can be creative. You can write your name, your date of birth. If it's a pull-out candle, you guys, this, you can write a whole book on it if that's what you want to do. You can write your name, your date of birth, protection, success. You can write on here whatever it is you want. Anoint it with oil. Well, and when I say right, you guys, I'm not saying right. I, I mean, I don't mean right. I mean carve. Carve your name. Carve your date of birth and hold it in your hand and set the intent for what it is that you want, okay? If it's something you're trying to get rid of, you point the wick away from you or out away from you. If it's something you're trying to bring into your life, you point the wick towards you, okay? If you guys like this information, please give me that thumbs up, okay? So I just want to make sure that we are all on the same page. Now, other than that, what other ways do the dragon blood, like, okay, again, if you don't want to do candles, you can do incense, you guys. This is dragon blood incense, okay? There's dragon blood incense. There's saging you can do around your house to open up the path and open up the doors. Again, I already showed you high John the root, where you can put a little bit of oil, holy oil or high John oil and set the intent and keep it in your wallet. You can absolutely, this is dragon blood when it comes down to writing, scripting, you guys. When you're scripting and you're writing out something concerning protection, you can use dragon blood and do, and do the writing with that. There are so many things that you guys can do to basically clear the path. The whole thing is setting the intent, setting the intent on what it is you want and letting everything else go. Okay, so now listen, 
I told you everything about, let me make sure I'm not forgetting anything because I want to make sure we mentioned Dragon Blood, High John the Conqueror. And remember, High John has many different names. It's High John the Conqueror, High John, John the Conqueror. Elegra is Elegra. It's spelled E L E. E-L-E-G-G-U-A or E-L-E-G-U-A, okay? And again, I showed you St. Clara. I showed you the 23rd Psalm, the Lord's Prayer. Those, those are all different candles that you can use. So listen, you guys, remember, set the intent in the, in the candle right on the top of the candle, what it is that you want. And again, they come in all different forms. These candles here, again, you, you can write so much on these candles, okay? But you need to put it in something that is going to be safe that you can burn, okay? And remember, I will give you guys this little tip because many people don't tell people. When you're burning a candle, you want it in something that is contained. Why? Because as it burns, the candle goes out. You can actually light a candle like this and waste the entire candle. It has to be in something that is going to contain the, um, the, the, the wax. So as it burned down, it burns down in the container and continues to burn all the way down. But if you're putting it in something like a plate, before you know it, the whole plate is going to be covered and it's going to be useless. Okay? So many things. So again, blessings to you all. I just told you guys how to do this. And this is this is powerful, you guys, because these are the things that I use to open my way. Now, before I go again, you guys, I'm always mentioning my books. Again, if you haven't gotten it, it's um, It Works Manifestation Journal by me, um, 369 Manifestation Journal. And these are actually created just for the 369 scripting and the um, It Works scripted. I do want to mention one of the guys that I did a coaching session for has a great book, Hudson Robinson, okay? Always grateful for my joy. Great book. It's very inspirational. And I guess you can get it on Amazon, but it's always grateful for my joy, Hudson Robinson, almost like my Robinson over here. And this guy took a session with me and actually sent me his book. And I started reading it. And it is a nice book, you guys. Very inspirational. And um, I wanted to bring that out. Hudson, blessings to you. I got your book. And thank you. Okay. So again, everybody, blessings to you all. I want to congratulate so many people last week that won, that won free books last week. So blessings to you all. Most of you should have already received them. And again, I'm going to sign out right now. And you know what? Let me get to a couple of these comments for you guys being here. Um, Kay Lewis said, just got my candles today. Excited to hear the teachings tonight. Ah, I don't know which candles you have. Please put it in the description so I can know what candles you picked up. Queenie says, good morning. Dioki Super says, says good, evening. good evening, she said. Good evening, beautiful teacher and everyone on my way home from work. I love it, I love it, I love it. Listen, New York is in a snowstorm, so it's over now. <laughs> Ernest Muhammad, good evening, family. Um, Kim Clay said, good evening. Uh, Angie Hunt said, hello. A lot of people saying hello. People are saying hello. Chastity says, hello. Clinton Holtz, good evening. Hello, Robinson family, Hi. Um, people are saying hello, hello, good evening, good evening. Denise Stewart is here. Um, Robinson, I received my package. Blessings to you. Okay. Happy Tuesday. Blessings to everyone. Happy um, Carlton Atkins is here. Alexis is here. Hi, everybody saying hello, hello. Nora P. Wade is here. Um, somebody said candle and they put a little candle out there. I love it. Robinson families are headed into the, oh, pre, uh, listen, congratulations and blessings to you with the baby on the way. Okay. Um, Kat says, good evening, everyone. Denise Stewart says, Robinson family, be safe and blessings to you. Listen, we're going to have another little metaphysical baby on the way very soon. Congratulations, Robinson family. Um, Erica Bradley, Sharon Webb, hello. Denise Stewart, Sadia Notion is here. She has all these little houses and cars. Cat is here. People are giving a thumbs up. Oh my God. It's the Lord is my shepherd. Yes, yes, yes. I love the Lord is my shepherd. Absolutely. And listen, this candle is powerful. There's the 23rd Psalm. 
And then there's the Lord's, the Lord's prayer. So this is the 23rd Psalm. And then there's one that's called the Lord's prayer. Those are the two that I use for a long time, everyone. Okay. Um, Carlton Atkins gave a thumbs up. Somebody said, amazing. Um, somebody said, I sing the Sissy Houston version of the Lord is my shepherd from the preacher's wife track. It is so healing. I love that. I love that. Blessings to you. I love it. Good evening to y'all, to, uh, uh, to you as all as well. Blessings to you. I love it. I love it. Kim Clay said, thank you, Yvette. I needed to hear this. Okay. A lot of thumbs up. Dahlia Jameson is here. Marie Orison is here. I love it. Um, oh, St. Marquise is here. So many of you guys are here tonight. Can you burn a dragon blood instant? Of course. And I just showed you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Congratulations. Thank you for the information. No one is doing it like you. Thank you. Nora Prewey said, Yvette, I love my dragon blood. The ink is nice and thick. Oh, I didn't even know you bought this. So, okay, so we have someone that actually had bought the Dragon's Blood writing kit. Again, these are used for scripting. Um, I was using the money drawing writing kit. So when I write anything in any of my journals for manifestation, I was using the feather with the green ink. Okay, again, all of these things are loaded, located on my website. And a lot of the things that you can't find there is in this video in the description, in the shop area. Okay, you don't have to, um, you don't, how to use some of, you don't say how to use some of the candles. Again, I did mention that. That's when I told you, you set the, I think you probably wrote this before I did that. I, I know you did, you just wrote it. The candles, basically, again, you're going to have to write your name on the candle. You can write your name, you can write your date of birth, and you can say a prayer. A prayer can just as simply, simple be, Hi, John the Conqueror. I'm asking you at this moment to open the door, open the path in for me to remove any obstacles in my way, to remove anything that is stopping me from getting to wherever it is that I need to go. At this moment, I see myself being, doing, and having, la di la di la whatever it is that I desire. And I know that God that dwells inside of me is with me. I know, um, hi, John the Conqueror, your job is to clear the path. Your job is to conquer anything that is coming my way. And I, I, I set this candle, I light this candle in for this reason. And you can walk around your house clearing the path. You can walk around your house. If there's people you feel that's against you, you speak it, okay? And you, and you, and you clear yourself. For me, I would visualize whatever it is that's going on in my life flowing away, to being dissipated, dissolving. And then I would picture myself being, doing, and having whatever it is that I want. That's what I would do. Same thing with the road opener. The road opener, again, you can write on the candle what it is that you want. Anoint it with the oil, any oil, road opener oil, holy oil, angel oil, whatever it is. And then you can set the intent again, roll it around your body spiritually and walk around your house and ask Ilegua, ask the road opener, God that dwells inside of you to open the road. And that's as simple. Again, put it in something that you're not going to waste the candle, the wax. Okay. It happens to a lot of people. And then they sit there, oh, you've had it burn out too quick. No, you had it in the wrong container. Okay. <laughs> so I hope I answered your question. It is the same thing when you do with the road opener. You're asking the road opener to open your path, open, remove all barriers, to clear the path so that you can move and, and manifest the things in your life. And then see yourself as being, doing, and having whatever it is that you want. That is how you use these candles. Okay. Okay. Blessings to you. I hope I made it a little more clear of how to use them. Okay. If I did give me a thumbs up, you guys. Okay. Cat saying, congratulations, Robinson family. Dioki super says that high John root is awesome. Anoint it with money and protection oil. And it goes everywhere. I love it. I anoint mine with, with, um, wealth oil, prosperity oil, magnet oil, you guys to attract whatever it is that I want in my life. No, every way can, um, uh, can I say that over the root and put it in my purse? Absolutely. I said that earlier. And if you watch my videos, you would know that I have a high John root in my bag. The, my high John root 
has been anointed with magnet oil, hydron oil, and I set the intent and it has been in my bag for many years. Okay. Um, is olive oil okay? Absolutely. When in doubt, when you don't have anything, olive oil is the go-to. Okay. Just set the intent on what it is that you want. Okay. Okay. So I probably would set the intent on the olive oil. Then I will put it on the root or the candle. And then I will set the intent again. Okay. That's what I would do. Kim Clay said, let me see what you burn your candle in. Um, oh, now you got me moving away, Kim, from my thing. I got all different types of things that I have. Okay, let me show you. Good question if you want to know. Um, different things that I use. Now you got me pulling away. <laughs> but I'm just giving you an idea of what I'm using. I never really do that. So here it is. This is for the little candles. Okay. It sits there when it burns down, it burns inside this. So when it burns down, it's contained down here. Okay. When I have a bigger candle like this, cause when it burns down, it's going to fill up. I can't use something like this because when it burned down, it's going to fill up and it's going to spill over. So I use something like this. When it burns down, it'll burn down here and it'll keep burning until it burns down. Okay. Um, good question. Very, very good question. For something like this, I would, for something like this, I would use something like this or I would use something like this because when this burns down, it's going to burn down to around here and it's not going to spill over. The bigger the candle, the more room you need so that you don't, so it don't spill over. Okay. And this is what this look like. These you don't have to worry about because they already come into the glass. Okay. And that's the reason. Very good question, Kim Clay. Um, I never really turn my back when I'm doing these things, but I wanted to do it. Kim Clay, it's okay. It was a good question. A lot of people just don't know. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So listen, you guys, it's getting late. Blessings to you all, Sharon Webb. I see you. I see so many of you. Oh, God, that's what I've been using on all my candles. What have you been using? Which one have you been using? I'm not too sure if you're saying uh, magnet oil. Okay, but I use a lot of magnet oil, high John road opener. Um, it could be wealth oil. Um, again, all of these oils and everything is on my site, you guys. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you're looking for them, you might not get them as cheap as on my site, okay? Because I give it a little cheaper than a lot of other people. You can see um, if, if it's available there, okay? And again, oh, the olive oil, olive oil, absolutely, you guys, okay? But you must program the olive oil, okay? So again, um, Dioki said rose petals bath. I can't see the rest of it. Rose petal bath um, to bring, uh, I'm not too sure, your vibrations guy, okay? I use, I have rose water back there right by the um, YouTube sign. I have rose um, rose oil and I have, um, yeah, I have rose oil and rose spray. So that's another, those are all different things you guys that you guys can use. It's a million different oils for you to use. Be creative and follow your heart. But right now, you guys, I'm going to sign off. Blessings to you all. Have a great night, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if any of you guys are having problems in life, remember, we you are not alone. I have problems. You have problems. I made mistakes. You made mistakes. The whole thing is moving forward. So again, everyone, enjoy your night and namaste.